Hey, hi there guys. Um, I'm in the middle of doing a computer repair as well, so I might have to keep dashing off to that just while it's installing. Um, what I want to talk about today is uh, this is one of these little Chinese um, Chinese radios. Uh, here's a, a complete kit here which we're going to build up. But this is one that's been pre-built. Um, uh, this is the HX6B, HX-6B, I'm not sure if you can see that on there, I can't see it on, if you, I can't see it from here if you can, but, um, and it's just a, it's a little uh, super heterodyne uh, radio. Now, when I, when I first got my one of these, uh, the capacitor wouldn't turn on, the tuning capacitor, and so I just chucked this one in. Uh, and, and also, these pots are, are not that clearly, they are once you realise that you've got to read into the um, instruction sheet, but they're not that clearly indicated on which ones go where. Uh, so that's a little challenge for this particular circuit. Uh, now I've got it to power up um, and I chucked a speaker onto it, but I couldn't actually get it to tune into any stations. I could barely hear. Um, I, hope, I wonder what that noise is actually like. Because that's probably a better sound level. Hmm. Alright, I need to just check something. Okie dokie, right, I just had a little quick check on the audio and the audio sounds alright, so um, yeah, like I say, we've got this little uh, uh, HX oh God, 6B little super hit radio. Now, this doesn't actually tune in, so I'm hoping um, that the new kit with the correct capacitor does, or maybe I could just chuck the correct capacitor in here and give this one another shot. Hmm. I wonder. Here's the kit anyway. And then this is a. Uh, move it out of the way. And get this. Pretty terrible speaking. And get this um, dial indicator. Move some. Um, Mandarin Chinese writing and then we've got a uh, the bag of bits so and we have of course oh, the PC board There's also some parts on this board that isn't quite clearly indicated, clearly indicated, but there are some little jumpers that you need to jump across. There's one there, I'm just pointing to the corner. Uh, you probably wanted to see that. I'll try and, it's just there. But anyway. <coughs> now, the instructions are a bit missing. It's not bad that it's a can tell it's also down or not. Um, no. But that's fine. Um, I know it's really bad, you can't see with the light. But there's the instructions. You can see at the top the HX dash uh, 6B and this is the, uh, the installation instructions for this. I don't know if you can see that, but it is pretty much uh, pretty much all Mandarin. But where this becomes a bit of an issue, where you don't know where these transforms go, these IF cans uh, on here, using their um, 
using their symbols. You can see the IF cans are here, the symbols are there, and on the other side, you get to see what colours they are by looking at the by looking at the resistor chart, and it gives the their their, uh, their writing there against the English numbers, which is pretty good. So really, everything you can get around just by using the instructions. It would be nice if that was a bit more clearly indicated, but huh. there we go. We got it figured out. In the stapled pack, just going to tip it out onto here. First thing I'm going to check is this. The tuning plastic, the legs aren't straight on it particularly, but I'm just gonna put those straight. And what I need to know is if this one turns, oh, that's much better. The other one just it, it like it ground while you were turning it, and the little plastic dielectrics in between were actually getting churned up, so that was a complete fail. That's not bad at all. That's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, and the um, what did I do with it? I don't know if you can see, but <clears throat> this uh, it looks a bit misshaped because you have to bend it a bit to get the, the rod inside there. Um, but it's pretty terrible. Look, it's like just a bit of plastic, and it's been I think it was chewed off. I don't know if a human chewed it off or a dog or. What. That was a little bit tat. <laughs> but this one, <laughs> even though it's still pretty crude, it doesn't look like it was chewed off. It looks like it was actually maybe cut. So the, so the ends aren't so bad and all rickety raggedy. And there's four strands on this. Uh, oh. Four strands. And they've got to go on the board in the correct order. Which is not too difficult, it'll either, you know, pick up something or not if it's in the wrong order. So, put that down. You've got the ferrite rod to push through there. And all the other, the gummings. And again, of course, these, the pots, indicated by their colours. I lost that on the other one, <laughs> which made it difficult for me to try and tune and mess around with it. So I'm wondering, I'm not sure what that's all about. It's like, a, you know, you put a screw through it and pull it down and it, it, it hangs things there. Oh, I see it's from inside. You put the uh, aerial into it. <laughs> gotcha. And then somehow you secure that to the inside of this. Uh, oh, that's much better because the one, the dial that I got in the other one was actually dirty, dirty, and I had to wash it and give it a bit of a fairly old clean to clean it up. Um, so, yeah, all the bits are in here the battery connectors, um, and the case, and it'll look something like. Something like that, with a little red light glowing through, um, especially if you put the light on the back end of the board, because if you put it on this part of the board, where it's indicated, um, it's actually on the wrong side, and so it won't show through the little hole. Uh, oh look, the one that we got, was that scratches or? Oh yeah, it looks like that same dog that had been eating. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like the same dog that had been eating the uh, this uh, antenna casing. I'd been eating this case too. Look, <laughs> so it's it, it's not going to make the best looking of radios. I mean that's probably a bit bit naff and 
If I wanted to, and I could probably say, hey, give me my money back. But I could probably use the case on you. Yeah, I could probably use the case on the other one. This one looks like it's almost been damaged on purpose. But the, the case from the other one uh, is fine, so I'll use that. And I'll uh, probably send them a picture of that and say, hey, that's nice. See, quality control is still 100%. So, let's have a look. We can also look for the best ones. Yeah, that's a bit dirty as well, so that can go. Uh, again, it's that little radio bin. So I'm going to use that. I don't know if this has got a bit of sticky on the front that you can actually peel off. Oh, it has, so I'm not going to be too concerned with that one being a bit tacky on the front, so you can just peel it off. That's good, there's nothing to peel the scratches off, is there? No. Okay, so this is the build. For this actual video, because it's not nine minutes, nine is not the build, but the next one is going to be the build. And then I can decide to put this one on or not. So, there they are. That's what we're going to do. So, cheers for watching.